You should rest. I'll make us some coffee. No, I can't stay. Will you be coming back to take Samuel to trial? There isn't going to be any trial. Rachel, you must be speciated. Rachel, what happened? Rachel, who was that man? Now, if you tuned in last time, you saw a little Amish kid witness a murder in the men's room, and you saw Danny Glover slit the victim's throat, then I asked you what would be a fitting title for the movie, and I'll bet you got it. Hollywood called the movie Witness because a little Amish kid witnesses a murder, and IMDB describes the plot like so. When a young Amish boy is sole witness to a murder while visiting Philadelphia with his mother, police detective John Book tries to protect the boy until an attempt on Book's life forces him into hiding in Amish country. Harrison Ford plays police detective John Book, Kelly McGillis plays the kid's mother, nine-year-old Lucas Haas plays the Amish kid, and Danny Glover plays the killer. And Glover slits the guy's throat in a men's room at 30th Street Station in Philadelphia. Now let me do some filling in here. Danny Glover's a cop, a bad cop. A good cop's called in to investigate the murder, Harrison Ford. And when he brings the kid into headquarters, the kid sees a picture of Danny Glover on the wall and IDs him to Harrison Ford. But Danny Glover finds out his cover's broken and he and his cronies ambush Harrison Ford in an underground garage and put a bullet in his side. Even though he's wounded for their protection, Harrison Ford transports the kid and his mother back to Amish country near Lancaster, PA, about 80 miles pretty much due west of Philly. Oh yeah, Kelly McGillis and the kid were on their way to visit relatives in Baltimore, which is why they were 30th Street Station to begin with. I'll get into 30th Street Station a little more somewhere down the line. Now, out in Amish country, Kelly McGillis nurses Harrison Ford back to health. And then they play a little push-pull as soon as he's physically able. And of course, Danny Glover's crew eventually comes looking for him. All in all, it makes for a nifty venture in the Amish country. I've been there many times. In fact, every once in a while, you might see my little blondie here pop into the screen. She was born on an Amish farm outside Lancaster. One day, my favorite son was doing some surveying work on the farm and snatched her up from a cornfield before the foxes could get her. And she's been my buddy ever since, better than 10 years now. I like Witness, watched it a few times. Now I'm going to use this opportunity to promote Caribbean Queen because Harrison Ford, Danny Glover, by Philly Cops. And I had carte blanche at Philly Homicide way back when. Wrote five or six or seven murder stories for detective magazines that took place in Philly. And one, this one about Ed Zayas, the Casanova of death, inspired the plot for Caribbean Queen. Zayas killed victims in Camden, New Jersey and Philly. By the way, he kills his female victims during sex, just when they're experiencing the throes of ecstasy. Hence, Casanova of Death nickname. Then he went on the land of Puerto Rico. I worked with Detective Eddie Rocks on a couple cases. He put this case together, Casanova of Death, then went to Puerto Rico to track Casanova down. My main character goes to the Caribbean, 
meets his Caribbean queen, and while he's at it, he helps the cops track down the killer in Puerto Rico. So, my Caribbean queen story rings true. But, that's it for now. Thanks for stopping in today. Until next time. See you. And that's a wrap.